Hi guys and welcome to this vlog. Good morning. Um, I got up at 6 a.m. today and I am not okay. Um, 6 a.m. is only like 30 minutes before I typically get up, but that half hour less sleep, not even less sleep, I went to bed really early yesterday night, but it just so uh, I, I wasn't doing that great. And then my booster um, or like the pre-workout from Women's Best is out, so I did not have any caffeine. I only had one of those kind of like energy drinks um they're called noko i don't know there's not that much caffeine in there and i bought it yesterday and i left it in my backpack and so it was warm and i don't know if you've ever had like a carbonated warm energy drink before but it's not it it's not very good um but yeah now i'm extra early up today oh look at my lamp it's a little bit not the way it's supposed to be um but whatever um and so now we're gonna make breakfast because um i feel like you know that feeling when you're so tired that you get energy that's how i am right now like i'm really hyped but i feel like it's gonna be over in probably like 10 minutes and then i'm gonna be dead so because we want to avoid that we're gonna make breakfast now um and yeah just update you on everything first update as i see it right here easter candy is 50 percent off now guess who's been buying all of the easter candy and um i got this today and there's one left and it is nine in the morning so that's great um i don't know if you know these things but they are <laughs> so good um and because it's my sister's birthday tomorrow and we're celebrating it on saturday and because our birthdays are so close together, I was like, you know what, we're still in birthday mode. Nobody cares if I eat those. Also, I don't want them to go bad, you know, because it would be a shame if stores had to throw out Easter candy because I didn't buy it, you know. So <laughs> I had to kind of honestly. Um, but anyways, we're going to make breakfast now. I got today some salmon. This looks like it's a huge pack. I don't know if I'm going to have all of it today. Or maybe just do half and half because there's 200 grams in there and typically there's only like 100 grams in like the salmon packs and then we also have bread um i had to cut this with a box cutter because all of my knives are in the dishwasher and it worked surprisingly well but i don't know if that's like very sanitary i cleaned it before obviously but typically i cut boxes with my box cutter um so yeah today's an interesting day but um, I don't know if you can hear me now, the dishwasher is getting kind of loud. But after breakfast, I thought we could talk about how to feel more confident at the gym because I think I have mastered the formula over the last couple of weeks, months, whatever. Um, so yeah, let me stop talking and let's get started with breakfast. And breakfast is ready. I haven't had salmon in such a long time. So this is a little bit different for me today and I'm excited. Having this on while I work is always so peaceful. It smells a little strong because I leave it on for like a really long time, but it just looks so nice. And it smells so nice too. And I just love it. I have been in absolute go mode for probably like five hours now. And I have just stopped at the mirror to look at my skin and it's looking pretty rough. So I'm gonna do a face mask and read while I have it like worth its magic. Um, take like a 10 minute break and then get back to work and I also feel like I need this break to kind of like calm down because there's 15 things happening at once and I'm getting kind of overwhelmed um, so yeah we're gonna take a break now do the face mask read a little bit and hopefully feel better with them I can't really move my face right now, but I feel a lot more relaxed. I read um, three essays and that felt really nice and now I feel inspired and calm and I need to go wash this off because talking kind of hurts right now. Okay guys, so I thought now we could talk about what I wanted to talk about before, how to feel comfortable at the gym. I just got done with work and today was really busy, um, so that's why it kind of took me a little bit of time until I could kind of calm down and talk about this. I wrote everything down in my little sticky note here. Um, but basically it's five tips <laughs> on how to feel more comfortable at the gym that really helped me and I know they've helped like other people too. And I think this is just generally for everybody, no matter like what you do, if you go in there to do, I don't know, cardio, I like YouTube video, or if you go in there and lift weights, no matter what you do, um, no matter like 
who you are i think this applies to everybody um so the first tip that i have is wear an outfit that makes you feel like cute and confident and is also comfortable and it also makes you feel comfortable because um for example i have like shorts that are just like i don't know probably nobody even notices but for me they're just a little bit too short and i feel like they're see-through even though they're not so if i wear those shorts i get like a little uncomfortable um so avoid wearing stuff like that um and obviously avoid buying stuff like that in the first place um but yeah just wear something that makes you just feel good and confident and comfortable and just an outfit can like have such a big impact and if you feel like if you have like a cute maybe even colorful outfit on it just changes everything it's just a really good tip um the second one is to always listen to music that hypes you up and this doesn't have to be like I don't know like club music or something for me sometimes it's listening to disney channel songs recently um so yeah just pick literally anything you like always 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 bring your headphones um if i don't have headphones in the gym i basically can go home like right away because i'm not gonna get anything done i'm gonna be kind of distracted by the gym music and also i'm not gonna like I don't know i can't i just can't focus without my own music and like hearing other people talk and stuff um so yeah just bring your headphones listen to your favorite music just blast it like get the volume up as high as possible i don't care um but also something that makes you feel just comfortable and confident in the gym the third one i personally haven't tried that but i've heard it from a lot of people that actually works really well my boyfriend does it too um it's to wear a hat so you can't see people um because if you're self-conscious or like if you're i guess scared um that people are going to be looking at you first of all most people don't really look at other people in the gym they're just you know just looking <laughs> i've talked about this in a previous video before where some girl was thinking i was staring at her boyfriend but i was literally just you know like having my eyes in front of me um so yeah don't get too like nervous about that most people aren't looking at other people but if you just want to block everybody out and just get them out of your like consciousness view whatever just wear a hat and wear it like kind of low so you can't see anything besides like i don't know like the ground or like yourself in the mirror fourth tip that i have is to have an actual like super specific workout plan it doesn't need to be like a whole week planned out whatever but before you go into the gym know what you're gonna do write out the exercises download some sort of app or write it down in your notes i don't care just have like your workout structured and have a plan so that you go in there knowing exactly what you're going to do um so that you don't like walk around not knowing like which machines to use or where to go um and if a machine is taken just um not skip the exercise but like skip it for now and then come back to it later once the machine is free and just do your next exercise and just work off that plan um that really helps me because if i go in there and i don't have anything planned i get completely overwhelmed and then i probably would just end up uh, like going to the cardio section and just staying there for probably like 20 minutes and then going home um so planning your workout beforehand before you go into the gym really really helps um and as i've said if your machine is blocked don't get like confused or something just skip that exercise for now go on to the next one and then come back to the machine once um it's free or you can also go up to the person that's using it right now and ask um when they're gonna be done because sometimes it's just like one set and that probably takes like two to five minutes so you could also just get something to drink or something like that and just wait until that person's done and the last tip um is kind of more like a mindset thing people think about themselves so much more than they think about you and not like in a crazy like self-obsessed way just think about if you go into the gym do you like think about that person's shirt or like how those pants look or anything no you basically just think about yourself and your exercises and if you like look somewhere not really staring at a person you're just i don't know like scanning the room just looking around um if you look at the mirror you're probably looking at yourself and at your form and the exercise you're doing um so don't worry so much about what people are going to think about you because people are there to work on themselves and they think about themselves mainly and they look at themselves or they're not looking anywhere in specific um so yeah those are kind of my tips to feel more comfortable at the gym if you have other tips please let me know write them down below let's help each other out um but the main part for me is the outfit the music and just not basically caring about people but i know that some people just 
generally care a lot about what people think and other people just don't um also with like instagram stuff i could not care less what like people from like my old school think when they find like my instagram page or something i just i just don't care um but some people do care about that stuff so i know that for some people it's harder to like i don't know cut other people's opinions out or what they think other people think about them um but just know people think about themselves more than they think about anybody else so you're probably safe um let's get back to the vlog and dinner is ready i'm about to have dinner and as you can see here in the background i don't know if you can tell but i have been obsessed with austin and ally recently after watching all of like the disney channel movies obviously i put all of those songs in like a playlist and then austin and ally one of the songs got recommended and i used to watch this with my sister i don't know if it came on every night but like every time it came on we used to watch it um and yeah i watched the whole season in one day so now i'm on season two right now um, and yeah, it's great. I love it. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna have dinner now while watching Austin and Ally, and I'll see you tomorrow morning. I'm thinking because I did have um, two or three Easter candy chocolate treat things today. Um, I'm probably gonna do a little hit workout tomorrow morning because it's actually a rest day, but I think I'm just gonna do like not an active rest day tomorrow because it obviously like is hard but do hit tomorrow and then do rest day on thursday yeah so that's the plan see you in the morning good morning everybody i am so tired i don't know how i'm gonna pull this off but i got this video this is actually little kids for more energy and so maybe it helps me too <laughs> Done, but I don't feel as tired as I did before and now I need to quickly shower and make myself look presentable because I actually work in the office today and this right now is not okay not at all um so yeah let's shower and try to fix myself yes who has a massage appointment now I'm so excited I haven't been in I think three weeks yeah I think I go every like two to three weeks and I'm just so excited for today. Um, I'm already really cozy. I got home from work at a little after two. And all I've been doing since then is eat Easter candy and lay in bed and watch Netflix, I think. Yeah, or Amazon Prime. I don't know, whatever. I watch TV. So I'm like really relaxed already. And now I'm really excited to go and to be relaxed even more and to have everything kind of like put back in place. My shoulder still hurts a little bit. I'm not sure really if it's actually from the vaccine or if it's like something else that's a little bit messed up, but I'm sure that after today, everything will be fine. So let's go and enjoy this. Here I'm about to go in. I'm so excited today. I don't know, like today, besides the morning is such a good day. I'm just so like happy and excited for everything. Let's go. The real after massage face, red and like full of mascara. That was so good. I feel so good now. Um, and now I'm just gonna go home after the same thing as yesterday for dinner and then go to bed. So I'll end the vlog here and I will see you tomorrow or Friday. I don't know yet. Um, oh wow. <laughs> I even have like, I don't know if you can see like lines from like the pillow I was laying on. Um, just if you have never had like a massage before, go do it, go get one. It's just, it's, it's so nice, honestly. Um, and I get so excited every time I go here. Um, and it's just the best thing ever. So yeah, as I've said, we're gonna end this situation here now because I'm not gonna be doing anything interesting other than massaging today. Um, and I'll see you in the next video. I hope to see you in the next video. I hope you enjoyed this one. Make sure to like it if you enjoyed it and subscribe if you haven't already so you're not gonna miss the new video um, and any other videos that I might post. Um, so yeah, see you soon.